Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Prendergast to tell you a little bit about vitamin D. Well, maybe to tell you a lot about vitamin D because I began my professional career very interested in vitamin D. I began this way back in Detroit at Henry Ford Hospital. And then when I came out here to the University of California, San Francisco in 1968, I continued work on that. When I walked down the research floor at UCSF, the first thing I was greeted with by one of the faculty was a question. The question is, what will vitamin D do positively for the kidney? And of course, I didn't know anything about that. And I said, well, what is vitamin D really? And I said, I know that. Vitamin D is really a hormone. It's not a vitamin at all. And its power comes from the fact that it is a hormone, not a vitamin. The definition of a hormone is it's a protein or something that goes in and does a lot of other things to other tissues all over the body. And this is what vitamin D does. But the research in this was slow. And my career often went into different uh, areas where things were happening more, and I went into diabetes more, always with an onset of interest that would flare with any new piece of information about the vitamin D. So what I was able to do was to catch, at the late 90s, the first real news about vitamin D. We began by virtue of other things happening in bone disease, just like I was interested in before. But the, the whole thing was circulating around the fact that vitamin D was really good for bones, more than we ever knew, was going to replace all the other things for osteoporosis. That's my opinion. But it was something that seemed to be working very, very well and got away from a lot of the side effects that, that are stalking all of us today with products, various things people have taken for osteoporosis. So we're in a new situation, and we love this. So when I began to find out there was a lot of old history that was really good, I said, this has got to be something special. Oddly enough, the first thing I wanted to do was to find out why the Germans wanted to do this for bird flu, bird flu. And what they did, starting in 1921, when they were doing things for uh, people who had TB, was to find out the whole immune system would become measurably stronger by a factor of three to five times. And this was probably better than any vaccine was ever going to be and enabled anybody in Germany to survive the bird flu should it come. What well, hasn't come is of this particular writing. And this is a combination, though, of a variety of other things we put together. But we had probably the strongest thing in the world we could probably do to take any virus, any sort of even cold or flu, and make it better. Then through some writings of people from Australia, I learned this same immune system could go up and make a big difference in asthma where asthma could have a situation where people could drop one half of all their medications and even some quit all medications for asthma. I thought, this is really something. I'm not used to this. This is more than I could ever uh, think about. Then we had a problem when we had the ability to look at cancer. I received uh, a newspaper from the Los Angeles Times from a patient who was down there. And he emailed me to it and said, look at this. They say 16 major cancers from various studies that were done in Europe would all be diminished by 90 plus percent if you took vitamin D and took it to new levels where you've never gone before. I'd never seen this before. And I thought to myself, this is incredible. What, what about toxicity? You know, if you take too much of this, you get all kinds of things, right? Wrong. That was the next thing I learned. There was no toxicity from D. Everything that we thought was due to toxicity was a result of other things that had changed, like parathyroid hormone, like other absorptions of calcium that increase, and you were taking too much because that was what we were told to do before. This was an incredible revelation that we could change everything that we were doing with this regard. Then I began to say, well, okay, how does this work? How does this work for like breast cancer? 
breast cancer was something I was interested in because I spoke with a lot of German scientists again, mostly from Hamburg, would be telling us all how actually breast cancer would occur. It would be something that would begin with a few cells, grow to a few more, and then by virtue of its growing would have a circular uh, ball, if you will, of vascular tissue around it, which we always thought was due to now it's getting ready to metastasize. No. What it was is it was actually growing more immune cells to attack the whole situation. This was incredible. And that the people were doing MRI research, MRI research in vitamin D, yes. And what they were seeing was the size would grow and then the D would make all the immune system come and the cancer would go away. And this was something that was happening three, ten times a day. This is really a new light as far as I was concerned with reference to working on something with vitamin D. Then we began to see various other things that people would do. Somebody came to me one day, lied, new patient, said, I want to go uh, take some more vitamin D. I know you're interested. Would you check me? And I said, sure. And then I'm leaving. I'm going to go to Europe for a year. Would, would you give me a year's supply? And everything seemed right. I did all this. And then six months later, he called me and said, I lied to you. What'd you do? He said, well, my... My brother-in-law was told he had six weeks to live. He had lung cancer, and I just felt terrible. I went to the Internet, and I saw all these things about cancer being something that was prevented by vitamin D. And I thought, this is really fantastic. This is something that I really have to think about doing for my brother-in-law. But I didn't know how to get it, so I lied to you. So I said, where is your brother-in-law now? He said, he's in Acapulco. He's water skiing. I said, wow, that's a good story. But the story's really good because that was three years ago. And he called me before Christmas this year. And he said, I want to thank you again for your trust in me. And I want to apologize again for not taking your trust in this proper way. And I said, oh, that's all right. No big deal. But I want to know where your brother-in-law is now. He says, oh, he's down water skiing in Acapulco. He goes every year on the anniversary of his death. And so as I would see things, magic that seemed to happen with this, I would see people come in saying, I'm a perfectly different person. I've taken this for a week and I just want to know. I, I want you to know that I feel so good. I can't believe I could be that way. But I really like it. I'm very, very pleased that you know how to do it and how to handle it. And I said to them then, as I would say to anybody now, vitamin D is a miracle drug. It already won the Nobel Prize long ago for other things. But it is a wonderful thing for you to acknowledge that it's helping you today because your health is what's being pursued and this is what's good for you. And as I always say, it's your time. Thank you very much.